finally finished with the vlog now, so now I can get to listing and stuff. Well, I actually got a green shirt today, so uh, that's interesting. Okay, it's now time to choose what to list. Um, these ones have a whole bunch of different variations. So I might just focus on some of these guys then and try to just get them listed and separate between the, I don't know, there's probably five different variations of this part. So then I'll just grab one color at a time, see what uh, variations have that color available, then go through and list those. And then there's a whole bunch of these more common pins. I don't think there's multiple variants of this one, although it might be uh, like with uh, those pins there, where uh, light gray, light bluish gray is one variant, and then they make the other variant in tan, and uh, one of the black is uh, one of the other two or something like that. Um, or blue is one variant and all the others are the other one and stuff like that. They tend to do that a little bit with pins, which is nice. Um, but now, unfortunately, all... Oh, oh, this thing's not supposed to be in here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight containers of just pins. And I have to separate between the two variants of this one because there are two variants of this one. One with um, friction things, uh, lines on them, and the other one without, I think. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, that's going to be good fun to separate eventually. Yeah, but I don't have the mental willpower for that right now, so who knows when that, if ever, will get done. Then there's these ones here, which I'll have to separate between light gray and light blue gray, which will not be fun. So then I'll probably focus on these, and then if I have time, try to list these guys here. But the vlog is now processing in HD. Well, it does make it a bit easier now because I was looking at these here and... Wait, was that another light blue screen there? No, it wasn't. Um, for the most part, there's ones with the uh, lines here in the center or the grooves or whatever you want to call them. And then uh, those ones are like this here uh, where you can see they've got the lines and grooves there. But then most of the other ones, if not... I think it's all of the other ones. As you can see, there's no grooves here on any of them so that does make it a little bit easier and i did confirm that there was no other ones that did have the grooves there so for the most part it should be uh at least more easy to uh separate between these uh here and for a second i thought that was a whole bunch of bite marks but that's just its mold uh design there it's interesting but yeah, one thing to keep in mind with these ones is a lot of them just won't be sellable because these ones here, uh, compared to the average part, will just have a lot more wear on them because uh, the part actually gets moved a little bit when every time you connect it and disconnect it. So not only does it lead to a higher chance of being cracked, but also it's just more worn down. Like, um, one second, let me see if I can find one there. It's easy to see on um one minute here like this one here. You can see it a bit, not entirely the most, but it's almost a bit bent. Uh there at the top uh over here um but then other ones like this one here it's just going to be all colored and marked inside and everything like that from all the connections and then some other ones are just going to be in just bad condition overall uh one second where was the stuff on this one oh that fell oh. okay one second just setting down the phone okay i've got the part um this one here just it's just poor condition overall um there's not uh per se anything major wrong with it. i mean you can see the uh edges here and stuff like that it's just overall not that that good condition and stuff like that so i've only been able to list a couple so far and um yeah the rest have been in the garbage one so far so i don't expect to be able to list too too many of these guys Due to the overall very high level of damaged parts in here, um, I, I'll still go through the blue real quick. But then for the black ones, I'm going to separate between the two different variants of uh, the mold. Well, first the two main variants and then uh, so on and so forth. I'll list the other ones. But then looking at them for the standard parts, they're only six cents a piece. And considering how many are damaged uh, compared to listed um i'm just gonna throw the rest out unless i see some that seem to be in really good condition or just do a very quick glance and stuff like that since they aren't really worth too much and yeah there's just so many of them i just finished checking the black connectors for damage now <clears throat> excuse me and these were the only good ones that i was able to find for these ones since they're such low value anything that had any damage that i could see just ended up in here and so then I'll get these guys listed, and then I can make my way to start listing some of these guys. 
It's now just shy of 10 p.m. So I finished uh, listing a couple of these parts right here. Uh, so I'm gonna just put those containers back up there. And then this here is all the garbage ones I've ended up with so far. Like I expected a lot of these ones are just bad. And I was expecting from the beginning for this part in particular to have just a lot of them in very poor condition. So that goes in the garbage, taken out of circulation. So hopefully no one has to see some badly damaged stuff. I didn't get any of these ones listed because it's about 10 p.m. and I need to start syncing up the store so I have to uh, stop a bit earlier than normal. So I didn't get this listed and I didn't get those pins there listed. But overall, I was able to get everything else listed. So that's good. And so now I'm going to uh, quickly double check, go to inventory and then to missing my remarks. Go. And uh, nothing's missed remarks. I can put the two drawers away and then sync up the stores. Just getting to work now on Monday, I had a um, larger order uh, that they want to do a local pickup. They don't want to do a local pickup today. Um, it's likely set for another day already, and uh, I'm going to just pull it now just in case they decide that they want to pick it up sooner uh, or something like that. So I'm going to work on that first and uh, see if I can get that done by the time my computer decides to actually work. I'll click up the browser now and then it'll probably take a good 15 to 20 minutes to actually, um, not a, well it'll load pretty fast probably, but before it all the freezing stops and everything like that. So then I'll just leave that alone and see if it'll have some time to warm up and try to get the order pulled then. So with the order here, they did buy out pretty much every single lot that they are purchasing. So for something like this, it is, one second, let me get it up. It is 17 lots, 1,600 items. So I'm everything pretty much, I'm pretty sure the entire way down, they just bought all the stuff out from the lot. So I just grabbed my bags here. And since it's only 17 lots, I'm just going to bag up each lot individually and then just put it in containers and then just to start getting it packed up. It's everyone's favorite time when you have a drawer where it says drawer 1040. So you go to where drawer 1040 should be, but there's no drawer 1040. Oh, there it is. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. And then as soon as I start recording, I do. I had only looked for a few seconds, but apparently this is the new 1042. I've now finished pulling the order. They got a whole bunch of two by two white bricks, uh, all of my new and used in good or better condition, two by three bricks, uh, plates, and uh, in white, yeah, okay, the only ones that didn't get were the filler ones then, but that's fine. Um, then they got the one by three white plates, a couple of windows, and just all in all, it's only white parts and transparent clear parts, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, so they, every single lot here, they just completely bought out. So that was nice. And so then this stuff is all bagged up and ready to go. Then I'll contact them and tell them it's ready. And then, and otherwise I'll just wait till, uh, the day that they originally were planning to pick it up and then get it ready then. Otherwise I will, uh, if they decide they want it sooner, get that packed up sooner for them. Yogurt time. Okay, take two. I got a little bit too carried away when talking about those pins there and how uh, they are not fun to list. Um, so I'm going to start with some of these ones here because I didn't finish these last week. These I also had on the side. Uh, so I'll work on these ones as well. Then, I mean, I have to eventually tackle it. So then I'll probably uh, tackle some of these ones here. With these pins in the larger quantities, it's not feasible to check each one one by one because, uh, yeah, that's like practically impossible when you literally have thousands of pins. Um, this was probably only like a thousand tops in this one here, but then this here is probably uh, closer to 4,000, 5,000 pins. I don't know because I've got uh, like, I want to say... 1500 to 2000 listed uh and they take up only two bags and this here could easily take up uh three four five bags so there's probably gonna be many many thousands of those pins there uh so for stuff like this it's probably best if i for example grab a small handful of pins and then just line them up like this here and then just roll them side to side and see if i can find any damage on them and then use that method to list these guys so then i'll start on this stuff here and then depending how long this stuff takes i'll see if i can list any of that stuff there so i just finished with the uh things here i ended up just putting them in a box the box is just about full i think i can still comfortably fit one more small bag in there otherwise if not then i'll just uh swap it out actually you know what i'll just swap it out now then even though i could probably fit one more bag in here so uh but it's nicely full now there's a whole bunch of different stuff in here 
And so that worked out well. So I'll grab one new box. And I think I've got the last box 156 here. Yep. From all of the ones that were just kind of everywhere. So then I can put this thing back over here somewhere. And then where are the lids? I know I've got a whole bunch of lids there. But then I'd have to lift those other boxes up. So I'll just grab a lid from here real quick. And then looking at my drawer uh, stuff now. One second. Let me close this up. Uh, I've only got two drawers there and two drawers here. Um, so I'll quickly grab more drawers. And then the container here is of all the garbage ones from today so far. And while looking at one of the drawers, I actually noticed that this here had some uh, marker on it or in it that I didn't uh, see before. It's probably not visible in the camera it's quite visible in person but it's a light blue marker so it matches like perfectly with the camera lighting and stuff like that but there's some marker in that one so and it's not really feasible to get rid of that marker so yeah then i'll grab more drawers and put this away well i just got drawers and then i noticed this one here and i was like okay well it's a uh part with uh, a large transparent part it's alone in a drawer so it's probably been there for quite some time so then i might have uh not checked it properly for damage if it was a really old part and it was one of the first ones i listed so then i just quickly uh thought i'd double check and then just check the quality of the brick and update it if needed so i checked for drawer 398 but apparently there's nothing in drawer 398 so then i'm gonna have to see if i can quickly see right here 30366 is its part number so then i'll go here 30366 uh star and then search and then give it a second and then find this do i have it listed for sale no i do not have it listed for sale so that means it's probably the bricklink gremlins uh deleted this from my store inventory a long time ago so yeah that's interesting i think this is from the gungan sub uh or whatever it's called from star wars yep the gungan sub uh i remember got this set here in a large box it was like well, probably like 10 plus years ago i want to say um it was like a very long time ago uh we're walking down the street uh and then saw a box of lego in someone's garbage and then we went over it and uh yeah there's just a couple of older sets there and stuff like that and uh so yeah we at we rung on their door but we rung their doorbell last and they said yeah we could take it so we took it and we got a lot of cool lego out of there that was ages ago still surprised we ever found it um but then i mean I, I have the page up i could list it but i'm just gonna put it back in there for now and then now i've got an empty drawer and realistically that probably has happened in other drawers um to some extent as well i mean i'll check one more although i think i do remember listing the thing from drawer 400 so then i'll just quickly check here inventory remarks zero zero four hundred yep i still have that thing for sale uh it's from 2021 so not too far in the past uh so yeah then i'll get to work with some, some of this stuff now then just finished with all of these pins and there is a lot of them they're gonna fill up an entire container here um we ended up checking them for damage some of them ended up going in here some of them directly into the garbage can my sister was helping me with this um due to the nature of the part i'm definitely not going to be checking each and every pin individually as you can see there was approximately 6400 of these things we went through we checked for the variants and while we checked for the variants any damaged ones that we saw we removed and and then i added into the description due to the nature of the part i might have missed a couple i should change it to a couple uh missed um Ah, what, what? Okay, there. A couple of damaged ones, but I believe I removed most of them because I removed a lot of them. A couple of them were bent and stuff like that. I removed those, and it's only a two cent part. Um, so yeah, it's not like I'd be uh, losing a pile of uh people would we lose money if they bought one or two extra it's not like i make money off of it like crazy and it's not like they're spending money on it or anything like that in, in general people usually order these more than they need so this is all done here and surprisingly um there's only two four six of the other version of the pin and i thought they went for a couple bucks but they only go for like 80 cents to 13 bucks so i might listen at like a dollar dollar fifty i don't know yet um depending on the condition i did end up throwing out like three of them so far uh of that type because they were all damaged but uh now i can just bring this thing over here and the scale says that there is 
6,444, but I just put 6,400. Um, I might I almost should lower that, but not really. It's not too big of a deal. Um, because I always I do have lots of replacement in new and used condition already. These ones here aren't checked in the exact same way as my other used ones. Uh, same with most of the used stuff I'm working on right now. So in general, I just don't uh, uh, combine them and stuff like that. So yeah, then these ones here can press enter and then it's up there and now I can click at the inventory and I'm now done. And then with those ones listed, I've been struggling to stay above 6,100 lots for sale. I just keep selling stuff, so I can't keep above that. But I am now uh, above 300,000 parts for sale. So I think that's the first time I've broken the 300,000 parts for sale mark. Um, and that's with all this stuff here. And I did sell like 1,700 bricks this morning in this order here. So then that uh, was uh, still decently below. I was a bit closer because I'm at... 6,500. So I might have been just shy of 300,000 or just past, uh, 300,000. And my brain doesn't really like doing math right now. And this is why it's extremely helpful to have a counting scale over there. Um, cause then, yeah, you don't have to actually count these all by hand. So yeah, this is finally done. I'm just going to make absolutely sure, even though it would be super easy to find if I did forget. I'm just going to go quickly to inventory. Missing my remarks. Where is that? Right here. And nothing's missing remarks, so yeah, then I can put this away and uh, finally just take a bit of a break. So it's good that that thing's running again. I can smell the water in the air, although that's probably what people say when they fall into a river and that's when they get out of the river. And so that's probably not a good thing, but who knows. And so now I am going to pull orders and then I am going to continue listing. Although I'm not sure what I want to list because, I mean, there's so much stuff. But realistically, I should probably start with these guys again because I listed them in all of the other colors. And so then I've got these ones and then I might not do these ones because I don't want to do that. And so then I'll work on these ones after that and just see how long that takes sold one thing from the ebay room i totally never went all the way to the basement opened up the ebay thing started pulling orders and then realized i needed to go all the way back upstairs to get the thing but then i'll quickly grab it it's one of the last things that was listed on ebay recently for the small electronics it is a uh, solitaire thing it's got some coloring issues on the screen thing there i'm totally not out of breath because i ran up all the stairs after i had just gone down them um, so yeah, this sold with all that damage described and everything like that for 15 bucks plus shipping, which is about 15 bucks, I think. I almost forgot to say, I sold Benny again. This is like, one second, let me get it up real quick. I don't want to show any information. There's a lot of data on this screen. Um, wait, is that the same person? Uh, nope. The different one. But this here is now the 10th one I've sold of this guy. For nine bucks a piece probably gonna raise it to nine and a half dollars now because it's i've sold like three or four of them at the nine dollar mark um so then they also got one other minifigure and that uh, should be near the front here i think it was this one here uh rex danger vest so tlm 112 can't show their data so i'll leave this like this and just quickly double check yep tlm 112 so we've got this one then we also sold a rugby player so we'll quickly find that here all right here's the rugby player this guy sold for 12 14 after tax and shipping um then we sold a blue coat pirate pi 152 so then i'll move this over here then this here and it'll be in this row here somewhere right here in the front pi 152 and after tax and shipping they pay 27 dollars and five cents for him then we've got Batgirl SH092. So then I'll put this back here and this one here. The medium lavender cape one, I believe. Um, let's see here. The, nope. Saw the red from the shield and thought that was the purple from the cape. Um, okay, so then it's probably in this row here then. Watch it be the very front or something. Should be getting closer. Ah, right here. Uh, SH092. And then this one here was $29.99 after tax and shipping. And there was one more thing, which I'll quickly get. 
Okay, so it was Shadow, Viper, and Battle Droid. Okay, so SH0184. Uh, I mean, I'll probably find that one off camera because it's just a singular droid from one of these. It's one with a yellow torso. So like this, but yellow torso. And it's in one of these things here somewhere. And I probably will find that off camera unless I can just quickly find it by casually checking this right now. There's another dark red one, but that's with the tan printing on the front. Is that a Mandalorian? Oh yeah, I guess I have one of him, I forgot. Um, but yeah, then I'm guessing that that's not here. And that's with the uh, other thing on the top. Uh, I'll just double check. No, that's a different uh, minifigure number, I'm pretty sure. So then quickly just look, see if I can find them. Yeah, I probably should have done this off camera, but then, uh, that'd be, I don't know, who knows. Um, so it's not in that row, it's gotta be in this row here. Ah, well, it's right here, second one if I checked it normally. So we sold that one, and then Shadow and Viper from Dino Quest. So then they got, um, here's Shadow, and now we need to find Viper. Um, let's see, what was that? Oh, Cyberman, one second, let's see see here fire chief oleg i think that's what it is yeah oleg uh hero mini doll mini doll uh rock thingy that 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 why can't i find it another hero hero let's see here it's got to be here somewhere amelia hero that one, that one, ah, right here, Viper. So we got Viper and this one, so then I'll just quickly go back and confirm the numbers. So we're looking for SW0184, which is this one right here. Then we're looking for Dino 10, uh, or Dino 010, and then DIN006. So then they bought these ones, and after tax and shipping, they paid $22.36 for these three minifigures here. And they're all pretty common minifigures. So yeah, even common minifigures can be worth good money. So I'll never be afraid to list them. And uh, don't always worry about trying to prioritize about listing the most valuable first as you'll usually still sell almost anything given enough time. I mean, I think one of these here, yeah, uh, it's Shadow. Uh, right here, I just relisted this guy. I sold him a couple weeks ago or so, and then I relisted him, and he's already sold again. So, yeah, and I relisted him. I think I raised his price. Let's see here. It says not many people are selling him on eBay, so they paid six bucks plus tax and shipping on that one. So, yeah, almost anything sells. Some of the ones that you might think are worth more, like this one here, uh, it took like a very long time to sell. It took just about as much time to sell as this back for this Batgirl as it did for not Viper. Where was the other one? Right. Oh yeah, it was Viper, not Shadow. Uh, these two basically took the same amount of time to sell. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, interesting that way. And then you have this one, which I sold ten times in between. So I sold ten of this guy for about ninety bucks now, uh, instead of just a couple of the other ones. So yeah, you can. It, it's no rhyme or reason to listing. People will buy cheap, people will buy expensive. Just list anything you have whenever you have time. Unless you're like me and just do not like listing on eBay no matter what. In which case, you'll probably never get anything listed. Other than for stuff that you got listed in the past that you somehow listed when you had the willpower for it. But you can't remember how you had that back then. So, who knows? That's probably long enough of a rant for me. So, I'm going to get to pulling the Brick Owl and Bricklink orders now. On today's episode of iPad Problems, no matter which side I open, it just loads up a completely black page. And of course, then it loads now all of a sudden. As soon as I open up the camera, I literally clicked refresh on the page like five times and let it fully load. And then it didn't uh, do anything. So who knows? Well, it's up now. So I can start pulling orders, I guess. And now Bricklink is also a black screen, even though it was Brick Owl was now working. Let, oh, let's try hit up a... Uh, what? Okay, one second. Let me just. Okay, let's try hitting refresh on there. Um, it's got a bar that you can't really see, but it's done. And it's just doing nothing. So I'll just wait a few minutes, I guess, see if it starts working. Don't want to show my reflection in the iPad. Well, for some reason, no matter what, it's just not loading on the iPad. So I'm just gonna pull orders with my phone then. Who always loves it when they're asked to take some <clears throat> take something out of a freezer, but they don't know where it is? I was told to take the chicken out of the freezer, 
And I'm pretty sure it was on the top, but here we got vegetables. This isn't chicken, it's roast beef, it says. This here is not chicken. This is turkey, apparently. Uh, turkey meat. Um, these look like pineapple containers. Cheese sauce. This isn't chicken. Um, that's not chicken. I want to say this is chicken, but it doesn't look like it's what I put in here. But it, it, it could be. It, it looks a little bit like chicken, but I, I, I guess I have to open it up then. But I'm pretty sure there was a container of chicken. What about this? No? I don't know. These freezer are things are confusing. I've now opened the bag, and I'm still unable to find out if this is chicken. I'm not sure if that's dried bread or chicken. Like, what is it? Huh? I'm so confused. Let's hope I made the right call and leaving the right thing out to defrost. Just had one more order come in, so then I'll quickly pull this thing and then uh, I'll just get back to listing. So I'm probably going to first start on these and then if I have time later, because it's currently 7.31 p.m., and then I'm going to uh, see if I can work on some of these guys here and see how much uh, mental willpower this drains from me by listing. But luckily with these ones, I can just, oh, I already dropped one. Check multiple of them by just rolling them as I showed previously. It's now 9.16 p.m. and I just finished with the blue pins. All of these ones here are garbage. And so now I can set those on the side and I'm gonna use the counting scale and then count these guys up, get them listed. And then I should have about 30 to 40 minutes left to work on listing these hoses. So I just finished dumping in all of the pins and there is 1,161 of them. So since this one here, it's a larger pin, less likelihood of, or is it more likelihood of error than, I don't know how that works. Anyways, I'm just gonna list 1,125 of them uh, just to, uh, for any chance of errors and stuff like that. They're four cents a piece. So I'll get this stuff listed and then I can start working on these. Just getting to work now, I have one, uh, no, I think it's just one, possibly two. Oh yeah, I pulled the one already uh, last night. Uh, orders to pull, or order singular then. Oh, okay, I didn't even see this till now. My dad said he was gonna pick up some more of these bags from Walmart because I am now out, except these are boxes of 300. So how am I gonna put a box of 300? Would it fit? Um, I guess it fits, I think. Maybe if I put it vertical, it'll fit a little bit better. Um, maybe I'll have to find a way to transfer these into another container then, because I don't know if I'll be able to really put, or are there boxes inside of here? Nope. Feels like it's only bags inside of there. Huh, that's going to be interesting, because I usually only have a small box. They don't really have room for these. So I'll have to figure out what to do for those, but at least I have bags now. Might end up leaving them on the second level of the cart then, or something like that. Uh, so that's good, and so then I'm going to quickly just pull the, um order and then i don't know what i'm gonna do right now my dad's going for a little bit so i can't pack orders because i mean he usually just helps with packing orders it makes it go 10 times faster so probably do that a little bit later but in the meantime i might just uh possibly finish listing these guys then i'm not sure but i'm gonna first just pull the order and then figure out what to do next and one thing I can say with absolute confidence is that you don't have to buy brand names of luck bags. If I'm not mistaken, um, well, it's not these ones per se. I know I use them in some of my containers. Um, let's see if I can find an example. It's the green bags. Yeah, like this one here is a Ziploc bag. And then ones like here are just the no-name brand from Walmart. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, great value bags. I can say with absolute confidence that the great value bags, which are like only a third of the price, are like way better quality. They last way longer. And I am overall just happier with them as opposed to the Ziploc bags. The Ziploc bags, they fall apart almost after uh, a couple years or so. <clears throat> and I used them for a little bit at the beginning. Um, but then I almost immediately after like half a year ago or so switched to these, uh, bags from Walmart right here. And even looking in the containers, um, I think it's box, um, where's one that I know for sure? Is it, no, it's not box nine. I know which one has the reddish brown plates in it. Um, 
Well, this one has some ready front slopes or something. Um, wait, is it this one here? No. Uh, well, it's one of these boxes here. We'll just open up one of these for an example. Uh, let me move this here. These bags here, in general, they're just, they don't have the same quality and stuff like that. They just seem to tear super easy, especially on the sides here and stuff like that, as opposed to these ones, which they still have. Yeah, they're a little bit wrinkly and stuff like that, just like the other ones. But these ones here, they like lose their structural integrity um, from being in these bags. As to these ones, it just kind of becomes a bit of a wrinkled bag. And these ones here, I've had a lot of problems with them splitting on the sides and then being unable to realistically close the bag. These ones, I can't say I've ever had a single problem with those and stuff like that. So yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, if you use bags, don't worry about going for brand name bags. Oftentimes, those are worse than just your run-of-the-mill no-name bags. So, yeah, overall, that's one of the best decisions I made is stop using Ziploc and start using the most random bags I could find because they are usually just as good quality, if not better. So, yeah, it's morning now. I don't want to show my reflection in here, but it's still not loading on the iPad. Brick Owl and presume well, Bricklink, yeah, but then presumably other sites as well. It just loads a blank screen, so... um I'm not an expert. Does that mean like some GPU drivers are broken on the iPad? Probably just need to do a uh, turn off the iPad and turn it back on and stuff like that. Uh, so then I'll just turn that back off or something and just give it a few days or something like that and then try turning it back on again. But I'll just use my phone again to pull the last order. Yogurt time. So I just finished rebuilding the eBay minifigures. Funny enough, for both of the Dino Attack ones, the torsos, I had them, but they were damaged, so I couldn't use them on the eBay minifigures. One of them I was able to list as damaged on Bricklink, but the other one I had to throw out. Um, and then there's a couple other minifigures that I just don't really have parts for. I mean, i completely out of droid parts. I don't have any legs, any torsos, or any heads. I mean, I have arms, but I mean those things everyone has um and i was able to rebuild just two minifigures the rugby player and uh benny again so then i'm just going to quickly um put this guy right here and then this guy right here and then grab this box back put it up here again and then go back to these guys quickly pick these up and I thought I forgot one there for a minute. Um, and then I'll just put these guys away. So now that I've finished with the eBay minifigures, I can get back to listing these uh, rid... No, they're not rigid. They're ribbed hoses, I believe. Uh, I keep a measuring tape right here just to check the sizes. These things here, uh, they have sizes on Bricklink, but uh, they aren't exactly consistent with the sizes. And then if you look... Uh, one second, let me just quickly type it in. Um, hose ribbed... Here, they're the seven millimeter ones, I believe. Yeah. And then if you look, for example, I'll bring up the first one. Look how many different part numbers it has. So that's a um, part of that almost makes me think that there's been uh, X amount of lengths almost of this released or something like that. Because, for example, this one's 1.6 millimeters, uh, centimeters. Uh, so then it's, well, this one here is a smaller one. So it's probably more consistent for that one. But then some of the more recent ones I was listing, um, I think I got up to 6.4 centimeters. Um, this one here and in blue, uh, then this one here, it was like, uh, it's listed as a 6.4, I think it was like 6.2, maybe 6.1, depending on where in the measuring tape you held it. So overall, it is a bit different for that stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit inconsistent with these things. So just try and find whichever one you can find that's closest. But then sometimes you'll find something like this right here, which it obviously looks cut at the end. Um, and not by a machine because I mean I'm not sure if these are all cut by a machine or if they like from one long tube and that's why it's inconsistent or if these are molded I'm pretty sure that they're cut from a longer tube so that probably explains uh, why they're inconsistent lengths and stuff like that um, but yeah then uh, this one here is obviously hand cut uh, looking at the end of it so you have to keep an eye out for that as well and just try to get through these guys so this one was a nice find right here. It uh, goes for 11 to 18 bucks. And then looking at this, uh, if you line it up or so, it's, I looked and it's the eight centimeter one. It doesn't exist in pearl gold. So then this one here, if you line it up, it's very difficult with one hand. It's between 
8.5 and 8.8 .8. uh so then that's close to the 8.8 .8 there um so then this one here uh it doesn't look cut on the edges it looks uh i mean it does like fr uh professionally cut or whatever you want to call it as opposed to the other ones which looked like they weren't so i'm just going to quickly check so this is the 8.8 .8 centimeters so, and it's from this set right here so then if i type in pearl gold um hose ribbed um yeah that's probably all i need to type in and we can see which lengths it exists in okay it probably doesn't exist in 9.6 it does exist in 12.8 but it's worth a lot there this is a different one and since there's no color images of these and there's very few for sale then it's safe to say it doesn't exist in those colors so it exists in this length right here and the only other one is in a larger length which goes for a lot more so it's highly unlikely that this is a cut hose let's see what set is this from it, it's a very similar set looking at that so i guess this is just a desirable part i guess this could be a nice part on some mocks and stuff like that uh for maybe a steampunk type mock or something like that um so yeah this here i can confidently list as this part finally getting around to listing some of these uh bionicle or technic weapons and similar things and you always have to make sure when listing these parts is to look carefully at the image because although i was like oh this just looks a bit damaged at the end if you look a bit closer, it's actually missing an entire mechanism almost at the end there. So yeah, this thing here is just garbage. And uh, on to the next one. Just sold one set from the eBay room. I accidentally deleted... Uh, well, I deleted this clip because I missed uh, explained or something like that when I was recording. So I'm just retaking it. Just sold one thing from the eBay room. Uh, set for $49.99 plus shipping. I don't know what it is, but I just sold this minifigure again. I literally just rebuilt it a couple hours ago, and it already sold again. And then I just rebuilt this other minifigure I sold, um, just so it's easier to ship out next time and just to get it relisted again. So I'm just going to ship these out tomorrow because the post office is closed. Uh, this one's a uh, local pickup, so that won't be shipped out tomorrow then. And they'll just get the parcels shipped out tomorrow. Zip. Zand. Soda. So, I knew this would happen yesterday, but I still started. I have to pack up parcel orders today. I mean, I have a little bit more time to get a little bit more stuff listed. But I lined up all the different stuff on the table here. And now I have to move most of it to pack parcels up. But I still have a little bit before then, so I'm going to just quickly pull the one other parcel order that came in, even though I don't have to technically ship it out till tomorrow just because I'm going there today, and then get that stuff packed up and then worry about listing as much of this, excuse me, as I can uh, before uh, it's, I actually have to ship out the par pack up the parcels, so... Uh, yeah, I just I'm gonna pull one more order really quick, and then actually I sold another one of these guys here. One minute, I think this is the only one here that I have that was sold. Just confirming. Yep. Uh, so then I'm going to quickly just relist this minifigure as well. Sold another swamp creature. So I'll put that one here, and then relist that guy, and then pull the order. But thank you for watching the vlog if you got this far. Hopefully I'll be able to edit the vlog uh, before it's too late in the day. Um, because I already, I have to ship out parcels today. So that's going to interrupt slightly with uh, the vlog editing. So I'll work on that. So thank you for watching the vlog if you got this far. The next one should be out on Saturday.